Hello, friends. Are you someone who experienced hip joint stiffness? Then, in this video, I'm going to show you some simple, effective exercises that will help you relieve this hip joint stiffness just by doing them while sitting on the chair. So, these are some simple yet effective hip mobility exercises. Make sure to follow that with me by watching this video. Let's get started. So, the first exercise that we are going to do is a seated hip stretch. In order to do this exercise, stretch your one leg straight. Be sure while you're doing this exercise, you're sitting on a sturdy chair like this. If you feel that you lack proper support, you can sit back completely relaxed. Next, you will keep the other leg on the knee like this. Make sure that your other knee is straight. Now, all you need to do is just lean forward. When you do this, you will feel a stretch on back of your thigh. Hold this position for 30 counts and let go. Two. Come back. Three. Pin to back. Similarly, to make this more difficult, you can sit on the edge of a chair and then you do the same exercise. This will give you five more better spins. The only thing is you lack some support of the back. So you have to ensure that your spine is straight. So keep the leg in this way. Cross over the leg and then knee forward. We feel the stretch on the back of your high region. Feel the stretch, hold the stretch and then come back. Repeat it for two more nights. Relax. So now let's move on to the second exercise. The second exercise is seated mean to chest stretch. In order to do this, again, you can sit back completely with the rest in a bit, pull the leg towards your chest. In this manner, you can even rest your leg on the chair in this way to get support and now slightly lean forward. When you do this, you will feel stretch around your hip joint and you will get that right mobility that is acquired and is missing out of your Or it does again for 30 counts in the release. And then pull your chest and knee together, or it is for 30 counts. Through these. Again, pull or it's for 30 pounds. And relax. Repeating us for three times. Now, let's see which is the third exercise. Third exercise is called as internal and external rotation of the hip joint. In order to move back, keep your legs flat on the floor, cup on the edge of the chair. Now, what you're going to do is you just with the help of your heart, pushing to your hip inside and then stretching and opening up your hair. Again, bring it inside and then out. Break it in. Out. In. Better. We are going to repeat this process for five to ten times. Now, let's move on to the next exercise. Now, the next exercise is the seated figure of toe stretch. In order to do this, I mean, sit on the edge of the chair, cross your leg, and then lean forward. Your legs, the affected leg should be crossed, whereas on the first exercise that we did, the non affected leg should be crossed. Won't this work any notes? In the eight one for thirty counts. Car four for thirty counts. Dragon. Now let's move on to the last exercise, which is seated leg sweeps. In order to do this, we are going to sit again in a relaxed position, keep the legs straight. And then we're going to rotate the new clockwise for 10 counts and anti-clockwise for 10 counts. 
path. You can repeat this for other side as well. I put so friends, these were some simple yet effective hip mobility exercises that will help you to improve your hip joint mobility and then reducing the hip pain and thus help in prevention of all the complications that comes with hip joints. I hope you found this video helpful. If yes, make sure to like this video. Share this video with your friends and family members and do not forget to subscribe to Hilfi Jail. I'll see you in another video. Thank you.